This is a review of my newest concealed carry weapon that I purchased. This is a SIG, uh, the P365. It is a great little gun. A little bit about this gun, a little story of why I bought this gun. So I originally uh, purchased the Hellcat, the Springfield Hellcat. Uh, when it came out, I wanted a, a concealed carry gun. I didn't have anything really smaller than the Glock 19, but I wanted something I could carry to church that would be really hard to see, but was a good gun, something at least was 9mm. Uh, but still, you know, has a lot of rounds. And I fell in love with the Hellcat. This is my favorite concealed carry gun that I own. Uh, my wife, she also has a concealed carry uh, license. And so she wanted uh, to shoot. So she shot my Hellcat. And she's like, I want the Hellcat. I love the Hellcat. Let's buy another Hellcat. And I was like, nah, I'm not down with that. I like variety. I like to, I like to have different kinds of guns. Uh, I just like to try, sample everything. So... Uh, when I was looking for a gun to replace the Hellcat, uh, the P365 was a uh, was was a no-brainer. I mean, it basically they're they're twins, and I know the uh, P365 came out first, um, but I bought the Hellcat because uh, I had never owned a uh, Springfield weapon before, and it was a new gun at the time, so I liked it. But I, I like this gun. It's been a good gun for me so far. It doesn't hold as many rounds. It only holds uh, 12 rounds in here, whereas the uh, uh, the Hellcat holds, I believe, 14 rounds in it with one in the chamber. Um, but uh, but it's a good gun. It came with three magazines. It came with night sights on the front and the back, which I really like. But the Hellcat came with night sights as well. But uh, it's got a really, 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 really nice trigger squeeze. So I really do I do like the trigger squeeze on the, uh, on the SIG. Um, it's got a really, really nice size to it. So when I put it in my belly band, when I wear it out, when I'm in public or if I'm at church... I can actually put it in my belly band, wear it around. And even if I'm like at church, you know, you're in Lord's house and you're wearing like a button up shirt or something that needs to be tucked in, I can tuck in the shirt. You know, I'm not a very big guy. I, I'm, I'm tall, but I'm not fat. So I don't have a lot of body to hide guns. They seem to show up on me when I, when I wear them on there. But with this, you can't see the gun. And that's, you know, that's good when you're at church. You don't want people seeing, you know, this bulge on your side there, wondering what, what's, you know, what's under your shirt. Um, so I do like this gun. I will say that it's built a little bit different than what I'm typically used to. It seems like it has more of the weight on the top of the slide, or it seems like it has a taller. It just is different up here than a traditional, like a Glock, or or if you really, or if you really have a nice gun, like a like a HK VP9. Um, but uh, it's good. I've shot it. I've shot a couple hundred rounds through it. Uh, me and my little brother. It's real snappy. It pops up on you when you shoot. But it's an accurate gun. It's got a really really good trigger squeeze. Um, just, just a little different. I don't know if that's just SIG in general. There was a deputy I worked with. Uh, he swore by SIGs. That's all he would ever carry when he was on duty was SIGs. Um, he swore by them. So it is a good, it is a definitely a very, very good handgun. I, I would say it ranks in my top three. I think H&K is, is clearly by far and away the best gun. Uh, then I think this one here, the SIG or possibly a Springfield is a really good gun. I know these are a little bit more expensive. And then of course you have your Glock. You know, Glock is a good gun, but it's not it's not a great gun. It's not the best gun. It's just a good gun. Tried and true. Um so I really do like this purchase. Um like I said, I'm glad that my wife kind of wanted my Hellcat so that I could uh you know experience this gun. And plus it gave me an excuse to buy another gun, which and that's always great to have an excuse, right? So um, if you have any questions or anything about this SIG P365, please uh, ask them in the comment section. And as always, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And y'all stay safe out there.